Hey guys, it's Calm Gamers here, and I'm um, back with another video. I'll be showing you guys uh, how to play Ezreal. <clears throat> Not in a ranked game, though, in a normal game against the Darius. Alright, first of all, you have to start off uh, pretty late so you can buy your two mana potions. Because you cannot go to lane without mana potions. And second of all, you gotta get all your last hits, like, one by one. You know, just like I did right there. Like that. And like that. Or maybe not like that. And, uh, Ezreal excels in, um, jumping into the fight and just getting down to business. Alright. Alright, and then you flash out of there so you can escape. And then use potions. And, uh, yeah, you just, uh, save yourself from Darius's blood. Just like that. And that's why you have to stay uh, extra two minutes in the fountain so you can afford all those potions. And you gotta be fashionably late. You gotta use your W so you can harass them. And you must get all the last hits. I mean, without the last hits. You, and then you gotta harass them like this and that. And then this and that. And then this and then that. And then you can get a kill like that. And then you have to flash back out, and then you have to use your potions again. Save yourself from Darius's blood, because that's just how it works. And uh, you can do that sometimes, but like you have to give him a kill so you have a challenge, right? And then your master Yi comes in, and he'll handle the kill for you. Okay. Now you have to take a close up look at your Ezreal, zoom out, and then you have to get attack speed, and you can't afford potions, so you can't go to lane without potions, or else you're going to die to Darius' blood, so you have to wait uh, at least for one potion. As soon as it gets there, you start walking to the lane. And I don't know what uh, Blitz is going on about. Oh, uh, for also, uh, don't go into lane with your support. That's uh, definitely not a good thing to do on your part. If you want to win the game and be a team player, you don't go into bot lane with your support. And we have a jungler too, so... Let's see... This is why you always go top. Cause, all right, and you have to use your E a lot so you don't get caught in situations with uh, Darius's blood, and you won't have to use the potions. All right, and we gotta get into the bush here. We gotta wait in the bush here for quite a while. All right, guys. After waiting in that bush for quite some time, I decided that, um, I think it's best that you go into lane with your support, because top lane is just not the lane for, uh, an Ezreal. So we're gonna go bot here and get a lot of kills and get our last hits. Since we only have six last hits, which is definitely not good at all. And we're gonna try to go bot. And kill this Teemo because Ezreal is such a good attack damage carry. Even at level 4, you can get all these last hits just like I did right here. And see that? Oh my god, Ezreal, what the. Oh crap. And then Blitzcrank saving my life. And then we gotta use the potions. Alright, and we're gonna wait here. And wait. And wait some more. I gotta get my last hits, just like that, just like that, and just like that, or maybe not just like that, and then, you know, and when, and when your teammate asks where you were, you're an explorer, you don't tell them where you were, alright, for all you know, you could have been in the game fucking Uncharted 4, he doesn't need to know where you were. So, you have to continue harassing these people. And 
And once um, shit gets real, you gotta know when to fall back. I mean, you gotta harass them like that, and then that, and then that, and then that. And then, alright, and then when shit gets really real, you gotta use your mana potions. And that's why we always wait for potions. And then you gotta harass them like that. And then, I don't know what my support is doing, but... As you can see, I excel in this champion particularly. Because Ezreal is just so good at many things. And you gotta, like... <clears throat> There's a Teemo. The, oh, he's trying to come for me. And then you gotta like get out like that. And then when Kaylee's there, you gotta. And then see what you see. That's why. And when Kaylee uh, decides to use her ultimate instead of running away f by uh, you know just clicking about half a centimeter away, that's when you know that uh, shit gets real. So you gotta buy even more potions. Alright, and then you gotta get back to your lane. Alright, your main priority at this point of the game is to, um, get your, uh, ultimate, which is really, really good in team fights. And I will show you that as soon as I get my ultimate and get in the team fight. As for now, I think I'm just gonna wait in this bush. Hey guys, I'm back, and, uh, as you can see, I just got my ultimate. And we're about to engage in a team fight with these guys because they're definitely not as good. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Alright, we gotta get these minions. Oh, okay, maybe we gotta run away. Our ultimate. And he pulled them right. And, uh, yeah, that's how you get your uh, support to get you killed in a team fight. Alright, now, uh, we have enough potions to last us for about five kills. So we gotta get our boots. An enemy has been slain. And our Master Yi. If you don't have a Master Yi on your team, that don't pick Ezreal. That's, uh, usually how it goes. And his Master Yi is going for... See, now, if you had your ultimate... Right there. See how I just saved Master Yi for a bit? I canceled the uh, turn to attack for about five seconds. And he couldn't run away. You gotta get all these last hits. You cannot miss a last hit. It is vital that you get all these last hits. And, uh, one thing you must know is that as an Ezreal, you have to know how to get your skill shots right. Just like I do right here, trying to show off my Q, if you know what I'm saying right now. And, uh, there comes Teemo. As an Ezreal, you cannot be scared of Teemo. Of Teemo, my bad. You gotta use your Q. And, uh, he's, uh, scared right now. As he's going into the jungle. And that's how you get the last hit. If you know what I'm saying right now. Cause, um, uh, alright, well, now that we see, um, Kigli in the situation, you kinda have to run away. Alright. And, uh, that's what happens when you try to carry as an Ezreal, so, I'm just saying that, maybe, see, that's how you get an assist. Our first assist of the game, our first anything of the, of the game, uh, let's see, our Master Yi is just carrying this whole game. So we're 0 5 with 27 minion kills, 60 minutes into the game. But you know how that can be solved? We have to look uh, around the map to see where we can use our ultimate, which will solve our um, feeding problem here. Alright. We gotta get uh, aligned with the minions. Well. Oh my. 
Blitzcrank, Blitzcrank. And that's how you hit with your ultimate. And that's how you just kill it, Teemo. Gotta flash if you don't flash. And that's how you do it. There you go. What more could you ask for? 150 gold for uh, one Teemo kill. You know what? Even though. Oh, and Kaylee caught up and killed Master E somehow. Maybe because of the mushrooms. Yeah, it was because of the mushrooms. And. In Ezreal's build, you must get a lot and a lot of uh, AP. I have decided that. Without AP, Ezreal does not uh, go to his full abilities. Like, he's, he cannot use this champion with all the power he has got. So you gotta heal up, and you gotta get back to your bot lane. As soon as possible. Oh, there once was a man, Yvonne was his name. Alright, do what you gotta do. You gotta You gotta go hop on your mid lane as soon as it hits the 18 minute mark. You gotta make sure you don't lose the bliss crank in a thing though, alright. I think that he's uh, trying to get this for me though, so I think I'll just take it. Oh, he was getting it for me, so I guess I don't have to steal it. And you gotta use your E move or else uh, you're not gonna be able to get it. And it's still the 18 minute mark, uh, so you can still go up out your mid lane. And uh, when well, you have your Master E coming in. Who is uh, that fed? You just gotta use your ultimate right there, like that. And if you don't hit your ultimate, don't worry, you can always get the last hit. Like that. Yeah, I just got two last hits. And if your Blitzcrank is calling for a dragon, don't go because the team was there. Holy crap. Use a potion because you do have those. And you gotta fall back. You gotta listen to your support sometimes. And while I'm in this bush, well, while I'm at Fountain, uh, I'm gonna let my champion heal. And I'm gonna come back to you guys with updated progress on this game. Hey guys, I'm back, and uh, as you can see, that my team is just uh, winning the whole their team. And I noticed while I was gone, they had an Ezreal too, and I think I versed him at the beginning of the game, but I forgot that he was there. And alright, here's what you gotta do. You gotta use your ultimate to set up a kill for your team. Then you gotta run away in case you die. And then their Ezreal's ultimate is way more powerful than my ultimate because he's full AP. But you don't gotta have no worries. And see, if you get all those skill shots hit, then you're good to go. You gotta. At this point, you just have to wait for your ultimate because that's the only thing you could do to help your team out in this situation. Gotta check our team score. Alright, so it goes in order from best to worst. And uh, obviously, I am first place with the least mini kills on the team because when you're playing Ezreal and you have ultimate like his, you don't need a mini kill. When you have a team like this guy, Master Yi. There you go. And I think it's time for victory. Oh. And when you see a Teemo pushing bot, don't go because he's going to kill you. You just have to go with your team and uh, show them what's good. And if you see a master here, no, you know, you can't press your ultimate right away. You have to hit a Q move on him, and then you can press your ultimate. Also, when you see a Teemo walking around in the jungle, you gotta go and catch him. Or when you see a Darius coming towards you, you gotta stay here. Oh! 
You gotta flash out. You gotta do this. And you gotta use your ultimate and then that's how you get the kill. And that's how you survive the other Ezreal's ultimate. Because that's uh, just how you do it. Let's have a replay of that. And I'm back. Alright, here's what you gotta do. Once our ultimate's back up, we'll have to get this Teemo first because he is in mid lane. Which, uh, after the 20 minute mark, in case you guys didn't know, is officially Ezreal's lane. Not this Ezreal, like the Ezreal on your team. Unless you're like on the enemy. Alright, I don't know how that works out, but. Wow, um, if you lose that much HP from one ultimate, here's what you gotta do. Alright, you gotta stick behind your support, wait for him to go first, you gotta get all these last hits. You like, every single, and then when Darius is coming for you, you can't, you can't let him do that, right? So you gotta flash out, and uh, that's how you die to a Teemo in about less than half a second. And while your master is backdooring, and while you're dead, all you gotta do is buy essential items. All right, we gotta click on the shop. All right, essential items. Let's see if we can afford any. All right, we can't afford anything except for boots, but we don't need boots. And uh, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna get some armor. Against Darius's attack damage and Teemo's attack damage. Yeah, they're all going AP. Maybe I should have got magic resist. But it's all good. As long as I got my ultimate, uh that's not on cooldown. I think we have a fair chance of winning this game. And our mastery is testing something, I guess. And this, uh, you got, you just gotta like, uh, go with your inkst, uh, I don't even know how to pronounce that word, instinct, uh, where he's going, so, you gotta alt about right over here. And if it doesn't hit him, then, uh, that means he's hacking. And I still laugh. Uh, wow. And we gotta clear out all these minion waves before this Master E does because we need the gold and we gotta get all these last hits. Alright, maybe none of them. Well, we just got one. So we gotta continue pushing because we can't let that stop us. And now that we see Timo and Kaylee, we definitely uh, can't go any further without our uh, team. So I'm going to wait in this bush until the game progresses a bit more. Alright guys, um, after you die while you're in the bush, because uh, Pantheon, it's all Pantheon's fault, uh, all your deaths, uh, you have to blame someone else for it. So after you die because of your team you know cough cough this guy right here pantheon right here you know after you die right here that guy you gotta go into mid lane alright that's your first priority you gotta check the team's levels alright you gotta look at you gotta have map awareness and when your team pings that there's somebody coming you go to them Maybe not. Maybe not. Alright, here's what you gotta do. And we have a Darius trying to chase me down, but I don't think that's gonna work because I'm going to bot lane. And I don't think he can make it there because I'm too fast with 300. Holy crap. Alright. And if you see a Teemo, here's what you gotta do. Your first priority is to get back here to the tower. As soon as you see a Master Yi over here, you gotta all bot lane. And once once you miss your ultimate, you would have assisted Lux because your ultimate was close enough. And once you oh, there's Kaylee, but if, if you see Kaylee, you can't go in the bush because. And you gotta kill Darius because. 
And if you can't kill him, then you gotta dodge Ezreal's ultimate and watch your team kill him. While you run away from Kaylee at the same time. And you gotta flash out. And then uh, once your flash doesn't work and your E moves on cooldown. You just gotta let them take the kill. And you gotta kill all of them at one, one by one. So about three of them are dead and then your master E has to push top lane. Remember, if your master E isn't pushing the top lane, then this, this won't work out. Like, your team will just lose the game. And that's how you get gold from your master E. And we gotta buy potions. We always forget these potions. Alright, guys. Our Blitzcrank has disconnected. I don't know why. Uh, let's turn up the volume. And our master is coming to take all my last hits. But he has to think again. Because Lux came instead. To steal all of them, pretty much. As a level 17 Ezreal, you have to excel in assassination. You gotta make sure you don't lose to Lux in a race, or maybe it's better that you do, because their Master E was there, and so is their Kaylee. Oh, and then once their Teemo's there, you gotta make sure that Lux uses her shield. You gotta ping middle, like in a, uh, uh, I'm not even gonna see what shape that is. Alright. And our uh, Blitzcrank has reconnected to support me again. Alright. And while everyone's at ball lane trying to chase down one person, we have to try our best to um, get down mid lane. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, by the time they come back, we have to get down mid lane. And then we have to get down the inhibitor because they all decided to go and chase down uh, one person. Alright, and that, that that's how it works. And then uh, once you die, you get an assist on a Master Yi and inhibitor and a turret. And uh, once that's over with, uh, you have to First, start off with a bit of uh, more AP, ability power. So you obviously gotta buy another one of these. If you can't afford it, you just have to wait. And once you buy it, you just have to wait for your team to defend bot. Alright, once you have been disconnected from the game, uh, and uh, it doesn't say that I reconnected, but once you reconnect, you have to defend whatever lane needs defending because you do have your ultimate up. If your ultimate is not up, do not go and defend any lanes. And you have to wait for your jungler to go in for a gank. And then once he's about to go in for a gank, that's when your internet disconnects again. Alright guys, once you're back, your main priority is to kill this Teemo. So you gotta use your ultimate on him. And if it misses him, then uh, here's what you gotta do. You gotta go in here, you gotta go there, you gotta use your Q move, and you gotta get an assist, cause that's what you do as Ezreal. Alright guys, three disconnections later, you gotta use your ultimate and almost kill uh, Kaylee, but when you can't kill her, you gotta go to mid lane, ping it, so you have your uh, army coming out to help you. Never go into mid lane by yourself unless you are a professional uh, Ezreal player. And once our minions destroy our bot turn, which was uh, Blitzcrank's lane, you got. Oh, okay. Maybe you, you got. You got to get out of the situation somehow. But if you can't even get in one key move while trying to run away. Then, uh, you know what? 
I think it's a change of items. We need to get another uh, Vampire Acceptor. Even though we only have one right now. But you guys get what I'm trying to say. We gotta make sure our team is not doing anything stupid. Like uh, walking around in our uh, side of the jungle. Alright. And then we gotta make sure that our blitz crank doesn't die. And jump into a team full of three people. And uh, yeah, that's how you win the game. Alright, here's what you gotta do. If you're the only one defending and your Lux is nowhere to be found, except for base, here's what you gotta do. Alright. You gotta. Right, right after uh, Pantheon's ultimate, you gotta use your ultimate. And then you gotta go and get the assist. But try to kill Seal uh, at all chances you get. And if you're about to lose a game, all you have to do is just push mid lane. You gotta, and then when their Ezreal tries to come after you, here's what you gotta do. You're all right, and then that's what you do. That's what you do. That's all you gotta do. You have to ward your base, or else uh, you're obviously gonna lose the game. You gotta try to clear the minion waves one by one, like that. And then once your Ezreal tries to attack you again, you gotta dodge his attack. You gotta get the last hit, like that, or let your team get them. And here's what you gotta do: you gotta push mid lane. And then once you get your ultimate in uh, five seconds. You obviously know where their team is, so you gotta, you know, all Baron real quick. Steal Baron, because that's what you do. Alright, maybe you don't steal Baron. Alright, if you see Ezreal Baron, the first thing you do is let your Blitz Crank go. So all the mushrooms can um, disappear. Got Flash over here. And uh, you gotta kill them all. And then you gotta let Baron do the rest of the damage. Um, you, gotta, you gotta flash over the wall in case they. And then you're tra once you're trapped over here, which is essential, you gotta tell we're back to base. And then uh, once you see that they're trying to get um, Baron still, hopefully, or they already got it, here's what you gotta do: you gotta flash over the wall. And uh, here's what you gotta do. All right, try to back to it didn't work. So that's how you play Ezreal. And uh, please remember to rate, subscribe, and comment.